So here we are back in, in, in sort of natural terrain. Uh, an ancient man to be able to work in here, be a shepherd, uh, go to other places, hunt, to be able to climb and traverse all, all of these mountains. And even as a sport, I call it a sport or a pastime or a joy, uh, it, it, it has hazards. You can strain muscles, pull muscles, you're going to get no upper positions, you can slip. And so self-help and self-rehabilitation uh, is very important as well to have those skills. So before we would go to terrain like that and climb, uh, I'm at the age of 72 and I'm, I'm still going to climb uh, a waterfall this morning. Uh, and without all those skills, it, it, it could be a danger. So you've got to make sure your body can reach all these parts, be paralateral. And these are all the things in the autobalance that became that essence from, from the uh, Bulldog teachings. Of so uh, as we observe nature, uh, you look at cats and dogs and other animals. Uh, a horse will run into a field and roll on its back both ways and kick and jump about. A dog will always pandiculate, stretch when it comes off the couch, or a cat will do it before climbing a tree. And we have that, we have those same reflexes, but we've dramatised them so much with, with sort of conscious uh, muscularisation and use that as a fitness level instead of a well-being level. Uh, and that's why you need to get back to these natural reflexes that keep us alive, keep our organs and energies flowing, and are all part of that body-mind integration. Um, and, and, and people again in, in uh, sedentary and office uh, lifestyles, they're sitting all day doing the same repetitive, it used to be called repetitive strain, but now we know more about the nervous system, we call it neuroplasticity. So if you've been holding a mouse or you've been holding a stick or a steering wheel all day, even when your hands like this at the end of the day, the tensions are still pulling in there and they, they affect the energy flows, they affect the peripheral nerves and anything that starts to affect nerves will wake up a part of the brain and give you a, a sensation of pain. Uh, and, and by opening these places up, you can actually nullify and, and take the, the cause of that pain away because pain is only a message. So again, it's getting in tune with your body, these plasticised uh, systems of sitting in one position, these tighten up, your, your, your pelvic muscles don't work when you're walking properly. And as you get older, it's, it's really important. Yeah, many, many people are talking now about well-being uh, and, and wild swimming and wild camping. And this isn't wild, this is just nature. And when we imbibe ourselves in nature, we've got water behind us that we don't normally hear live. We've got birds tweeting in the distance. You might have a sheep in the distance. The air feels different as it, as, as it flows through the trees. The smell of the different trees and flowers. This is mindfulness, taking that all in and just just let it soak into your mind. Just close your eyes on down and slow your brain waves down and just let all those sensations come in. The brain is a beautiful input sensory organ. It loves and bathes itself in, in the effervescence of nature. And that's well-being. And that gives you the benefits of the body-mind system. So it, even as even as we've looked, and, and I've, I've done this for years, and you know, hugging a tree is, is nothing unnatural to me. It's, it's like you're talking to nature, you're feeling it, feeling its vibrations. And nowadays, science can actually measure it. We know that the, the different leaves on trees wind split the air and ionise it. And, and those negative ions are our health. When water breaks down, that ionises the air. And all of these things have been around trees in, in bags, uh, chemicals in the brain for well-being. And this is, your, this is your natural antidote to stress. This really is. Because if you lived in this environment, you would have all those nat natural things and you wouldn't be stressed. It's a modern lifestyle that we need to be able to find some way to rebalance ourselves in a very short space of time. In a garden, a park, anywhere, just being around the trees, stop, breathe, just become aware of your breath. These sort of things are very, very simple to do for mindfulness.